Could you imagine if hundreds of trees around the city started to die? A small green beetle known as the emerald ash borer is threatening ash trees across the country. In Cottage Grove, ash trees are planted in the boulevards, open spaces, and around the community. It devastates the ash as far as girdles the tree, eats the foliage, in essence kills the tree in three to five years. It'll start in the crown and move its way down. So you get whole branch die back and not just a few leaves falling off. And then you also get a lot of suckers in that first crotch and at the base of the tree. In order to stay ahead of the infestation, the city of Cottage Grove has implemented a 12-year plan to monitor and treat ash trees in the community. And then we'll work back into this cul-de-sac. I've heard from other cities uh, in Michigan and Ohio, places where they've had this beetle, is to treat early rather than wait until the beetle's here. Well, we're going to be treating some ash trees today. The system that I'll be using is an air hydraulic gun, pressurized system with uh, compressed air that shoots triage, the chemical that we're using to treat our ash trees, uh, into the tree and then the tree naturally uptakes it so that way it can distribute it into the leaves and to the rest of the tree. Basically the idea is we have a plug set into the tree with a nipple on it and then uh, this needle will pierce that, that septum. We do have a GPS unit on hand so that way we can update our inventory if we do have to uh, add a tree that may have been missed in the inventory and also we can record the date that the tree was treated. This year we did receive a grant, further removals, some education, public outreach, things like that. We also have a forester intern on staff that's helping with this. So we did get some grant money to help fund the EAB uh, force this year. Throughout the summer, residents will see the four-person crew make their way around the city to inject over 3,300 trees. Some less thriving ash trees will also be removed. In our treatment years, like in this year, uh, we're looking at probably removing right around 50 or so. And then non-treatment years, the next two years, we'll be doing 150 per year. So that way, when we do get a population of emerald ash borer in the community, if we reduce our host, then they can't have its success of breeding and multiplying if we have a high population of ash trees in the community. There are also numerous purple traps hanging around town to tell the forester when the emerald ash borer reaches Cottage Grove. Plus, the city has updated a city ordinance. With this EAB coming in, we uh, update our ordinance so we can only have licensed tree service companies in our communities. We have a list of tree service companies that we'll be putting on the website that lists uh, which tree service companies have bought a license to work in the community. For more information about the Emerald Ash Borer, log on to the Minnesota Department of Agriculture website and search Ash Borer.